Hi, I'm Andrea. I'm the senior designer here at Vita Hall League. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a simple stretch bracelet. There are a few different kinds of uh, stretch cord that you can choose from. And the first is called Stretch Magic, and it comes in different diameters. The largest being one millimeter in diameter. I like to use this as long as the bead I'm working with can accommodate a cord of this thickness. So that means the bead that you're working with has to have a hole that's at least one millimeter in diameter. I found that a lot of Swarovski crystals will work as long as they're over five millimeters. And oftentimes, uh, check glass beads will work very nicely. Or some of the larger seed beads. And the other kind of stretch cord is the kind we're gonna be using to make this bracelet. And it's called Opalon. And it's made out of lycra spandex, the same kind of material that swimsuits are made out of, or any kind of stretchy lycra spandex material. And it's white in color, so you don't want to use completely clear beads, but it's very stretchy and very durable, and it comes in 0.7 millimeter diameter. We're going to be working directly off the spool so we save some material. If you were going to pre-cut a piece, you'd have to secure one end with a bead stopper, like that. But we're going to work directly off the spool today. So I've chosen some beads to work with, and I've got two different sizes of Swarovski crystal bicones in the crystal golden shadow color, and a six millimeter Swarovski pearl in the bright gold color, and some gold-plated spacer beads. So what we're going to do is we're just going to start stringing our bracelet. And you're going to choose ahead of time what order you'd like the beads to be in. Sometimes you can run into this problem such as I'm about to run into, I have a feeling. These Swarovski pearls have a large enough hole, but sometimes they're a little bit smaller from the uh, coating on the very outside of it. So to get through that hole with just the, the stretch cord is sometimes difficult. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use a big eye needle. And as you can see, this needle has a very big eye. And what you do is you just thread the end of your stretch cord through it just a tiny bit move it all the way down, and that should hold pretty easily. And then you can continue stringing like that, and it'll be a lot easier for you. So I'm almost done stringing, and I want to test the length of the bracelet by just holding it up. That's what I usually do, is just wrap it around my wrist and see if it's a good length. And I think that looks about right. I'm going to string one more spacer bead on here. I'm going to remove the thread from the big eye needle and set that aside. Now I'm going to make my knot. And to do this, you're just going to make a simple overhand knot. You're going to turn it into a square knot by doing it one more time. Some people like to feed it through a, a second time. And this is basically a surgeon's knot. And that's a very secure type of knot. And we're going to do it a couple more times just for good measure. Then what I want to do is I want to take my GS Hypo Cement and put a little dot of glue right on the knot. You really don't need much at all. I'm going to very carefully trim off the excess using my flush cutters. Then you can slide this knot inside a nearby bead to kind of hide it. And you want to let the glue set for at least a few hours before you try to wear the bracelet. So that's the completed bracelet. 
And I made a few others here, and one of them, I made a double strand bracelet using a 14 millimeter square Swarovski crystal in the crystal golden shade. And that's a double hole, so you can make a double strand bracelet. And that's it.